Do you think Fallout will come back with gaming after the show? Now that the show is doing well? I mean, I don't think they ever planned on abandoning gaming. Oh, that's super sweet. Well, thank you, Elijah. Yeah, I saw the Blizzard dev say that tipping developers isn't a bad idea. Actually, hold on. Let me just pull up the exact one. I have not seen that, Aston, but I can look it up. The former boss of Blizzard Entertainment has suggested a post-purchase tip feature that would let players give 10 to 20 extra dollars to the developers of special games. That's definitely not going to the developers, that's just going to the studio. The developers won't see a dime of that shit. Former Blizzard president Mike Ybarra tweeted that he's often felt that upon completion of a, per of a particularly enjoyable single-player game, he'd like to give more money to the developers because it was worth more than my initial $70, and they didn't try to nickel and dime me every second. I don't know what world you're living in. <laughs> I really, I don't know, I don't know what he's playing. Most of the $70 games that are coming out are really kind of half-baked and focused on trying to nickel and dime you. Oh, I'd be down, Shane, sure. I'd take a peek at it at the very least. And you're probably not wrong about that, Castilla. Games Ybarra mentioned that had sparked such a feeling include Gorilla's Horizon Zero Dawn, Sony Santa Monica's God of War, Rockstar's Red, Rock, Jesus, Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption 2, Larian's Baldur's Gate 3, and some prof, from software's Elden Ring. I know $70 is already a lot, but it's an option at the end of the game I wish I had at times. Some games are that special. It's fair to say that the reaction to the suggestion is mixed, with many people saying they're already forking out plenty of money for video games. Others have pointed out that some games, some game platforms such as Itch.io already allow tips and that small indie developers often use established platforms for donations. Many have also pointed out that any extra revenue generated through these tips would invariably end up in the pockets of the publishers as opposed to the developers themselves, at least for the majority of AAA releases. And if such a system were to hit the likes of Steam, the PlayStation Store or Xbox Store, would Valve, Sony, and Microsoft all expect a cut? Yeah, of course they would. 100%. It's a stupid idea. Thanks to the membership, cat. Is everything $70 nowadays? Not everything. Most AAA games are going the path of $70, but not all of them. It's gradually shifting over, though. I have no idea, Wuto, but I really like Invincible, so I'll hope that the live action's good if they make one. Helldivers 2 was like 30. Yeah, Helldivers 2 was 40. So, that game is doing everything right. It's also not AAA. But that game is doing everything right. Thanks to the membership, Ashy. On the other hand, others have backed the idea. Paul Kilduff Taylor. What a name. Kilduff Taylor. Of Mode 7 Games tweeted, People have discovered various ingenious ways to be angry about this, but adding a pay more if you want option to major stores would straightforwardly be excellent for devs. It works very well on Bandcamp. Yeah, it works well on Bandcamp because it's people independently releasing those projects. They actually see the money, the pay what you want model. The devs aren't going to see this shit. Like it mentions up here, the platforms are going to want to cut, and the publishers are mainly going to get that tip. Doesn't help the devs at all. There's a membership, Antonio. Bad comparison. With the new update to Call of Duty League, would you be interested in joining the CDL? Oh, we can talk about that in a minute. That was actually crazy to see. Yeah, 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 hold on, I'll pull that up. But I want to finish talking about this. That's probably like the biggest esports shift I've ever seen from like a major esport. It was unreal. No, this isn't like a real thing they're implementing or anything. This is just the former Blizzard head saying that it's a cool idea. Ybarra ended his post acknowledging that the tipping idea won't be for everyone. I know most will dislike this idea, he said. By the way, I realize we are tired of tipping and everything else, but I view this different from a pressure to tip type scenario many face and give feedback on. I mean, I don't know why you'd view it differently. It's kind of just the same thing. They've added tipping to self-checkout machines, man. 
Things are tier one bells. I mean, I think it's a cool idea, Ram. I guess we'll see how it goes. Things are prime rogue. Tipping your landlord. Ugh. That was just a meme. That wasn't like a real movement they were trying to make. But yeah. Ugh. Here's hoping, Elijah. How else do we keep the robots in check? Yeah, I tipped the uh, Walmart self-checkout machine as an investment into my safety in the future. He'll remember that. Tipping in general is just crazy to me. As a European, nobody's job should depend on it. I know, man. It's tragic. But it's not like... Like, there's nothing to really do to fight back against it. If you refuse to tip, the only person you're hurting is, like, the normal person that's working the job. So I always tip a lot. But I really do hate that they're not paid a decent wage for the work they do and instead have to rely on people to tip. It's fucking stupid. It is so stupid. RNG income. <laughs> True. Yeah, RNG income. Some owners of places take the tips behind closed doors. Well, that's very sad. Yeah, I believe it. Hey, glad you're enjoying Invincible Warfield. Have a good night, man. What do you mean by that? Kachido? I don't know what that means. <clears throat> Loot box salary is the future. Amen, brother. Loot box salary is the future. I did see that DJ Khaled clip. I keep up with everything DJ Khaled adjacent. Is the membership Elijah? You think you'll replay the newer Fallout games on stream? New Vegas 3 and 4? I talked about that. Yeah, that'll be a series we go through at some point. Yeah, no, there's tipping and everything. I don't exactly know what that is, though, Kaya. And I know about it, Rim. We talked about the Readyverse. I hate the revisionist history right now where Fallout 76 was always good. That happens with everything ever it is infuriating let's not forget fallout 76 was a broken mess for like a whole year it was a joke of a game that rightfully buried the franchise for a while the show revitalized it but that game was trash like it was non-functional for like a whole year and i remember even when they did fix it there were still so many bugs like there was a bug in there where players could just steal all of your shit while you were no no, no. what was it no, no, it was more than that. Like, they had some of the most unique bugs. Fuck, what was it? They could, like, go into your account. Like, the account itself and take your shit. Like, while you were offline or something. Fuck, what was it? What am I thinking of? It was a crazy one. Because, like, the only diehard players left just started having all of their shit taken. Oh, yeah, the dev rooms. You could go to the dev rooms. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. And I had no idea about that, Manic. But I, I guess I can see that perspective. And yeah, we talked about that JRE guest a while back. 76 was a terrible game. Don't let anyone convince you that it was ever good. Oh yeah, and they could never even deliver on their pre-order bag. That was a huge thing as well. They couldn't even finish their fucking pre-order stuff. Have you seen the Tippy cartoon skit about tipping the AI self-checkout? It's six months old called Tippy. I have not seen it, but that's exactly what I was just talking about. I'm glad someone made a skit about it. Thanks, Risa Bedge Runner and the Prime Swavy. Fallout 76 is way better now. What the fuck? Maybe play it before you start shitting on it? I did play it when I paid all the money for it up front. And it was a scam. It was a non-functional scam. Just because they fix it four years later doesn't mean that it was any less of a scam. It was a dog shit game. They couldn't even... They gave up on delivering their pre-order bonuses of the, the bags. It's unforgivable. I'm glad they fixed it eventually, I guess. But it doesn't forgive the past. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't know. I just, I just always see it, Elijah. Thanks a membership snafu. 
The canvas bag wasn't even the worst part of it. They also had the $80 plastic Nuka rum bottles as well as power armor helmets that literally had mold. I only vaguely remember that. I just really remember the bags. I'd like to at some point, Manic, but not anytime soon. The helmets were recalled due to being toxic. I'll look it up. Oh yeah, the Fallout 76 replica helmets. Recalled because of dangerous mold. You're right. I did not remember that. These are resub purple. The Nuka-Cola themed helmet was sold at GameStop, not included with the collector's edition. Collectible helmet produced to celebrate the launch of Fallout 76 is being recalled because it contains dangerous levels of mold. While no incidents or injuries have been reported this time, consumers are urged to contact the retailer and return the product. Cool. So this wasn't even from them, though. This is just a Fallout 76 adjacent disaster. Whoa. After our article was published, a representative from Chronicle Collectibles reached out to let us know that of the 20,000 Nuka-Cola-themed helmets that were manufactured, only 32 were sold. It says that all of those customers were directly notified about the recall. All 20,000 units have been recalled. They produced 20,000 of these bastards and only sold 32? That's gotta be the worst marketed product of all time. What a flop. What in tarnation?